Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a special report, and this wasn't something that I was looking at doing at the very moment. Um, I had heard whispers of something that was about to come up, and I didn't think too much of it, as I usually don't, depending on who it is that sends it to me. This person who sent this to me asked to remain anonymous. Anonymous, sorry. They sent me a bunch of links, and I spent the last, uh, I spent the last uh, two hours or so going through it while doing some other stuff. This is gonna be interesting. Now this is not gonna be long like the other ones are. I'm gonna have screenshots throughout the video. I'll add some music in here too. So you guys guys have something to listen to after I'm done talking. There's a lot to look at here, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, Brightside Viking, well, at first it, it was, no one knew if it was Brightside Viking or not, but uh, we know now. Apparently went on a little bit of a spiel that ended up turning into some shit that apparently he ain't ready for. He certainly was not ready with threatening a man and his family and threatening to dox him also. Now, there's been a couple of people that have been thrown into this. Um, as you'll see, you'll see all this in the screenshot, so, cause this is just some silly shit that just didn't need to happen. Now, the person in question that he, Brightside Viking was threatening is I'm thinking the same fella that we saw on, um, on Argent's, uh, a stream last month, I think, where the guy was basically talking about his experiences. I'm thinking this is the same guy. I can't, rem I can't remember the name. If this is the same person, Brightside Viking apparently got up this morning with an attitude or last night and just started threatening him and his family for really no good reason. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I had, I had dropped a line a couple of videos ago that one of you had picked up on, and I had said... Uh, that I had a project that I was working on, on, <laughs> working on, on, that, uh, who was, when does the puppeteer become the puppet? When is it that Phil ended up losing so much goddamn control of his community that now his community is going around doing the bullshit? The thing is, though, is, in truth, this isn't necessarily his community. This is Brightside Viking who's gone AWOL. And this is looking bad. Is looking so bad, in fact, that well, let's start from the beginning. Quick summary: Apparently, uh, there was a guy who was who had done some YouTube videos, basically talking about his experiences with Phil. Most of you guys know who this person is. All of the information will be in the video. And apparently, Brightside reached out to him and threatened him. Uh, you know, basically that was it. He basically went ahead and threatened him and his family. By the way, now we jump over to Kiwi Farms, where another gentleman. I'm not gonna put his name out there. You'll see it all in the video. Apparently decides to clap back and when I mean clap back ladies and gentlemen I mean clap back I mean he was like okay Brightside you apparently done fucked up and now let's let me tell you how the situation is gonna go I'm gonna give you just a little bit of what he said because you have to read it for yourself because it's amazing <laughs> okay listen up Brightside Viking because this is how we're gonna resolve this you've come here sending death threats to people to their wives to their children to their dogs god damn to the dogs Brightside do you eat dogs where you're from leave the dogs alone please please anyway and I've gauged in harassment of people in real life people getting fired and all kinds of other shady shit that's been going on this right here goes back to something that 
some other some of the old school uh, OGs of DSP's community, if you like going back into the archives like I do, um, had alluded to years ago that they thought bullshit was going on and doxing and shit like this and people kind of eh, frummed it. And then when we had the thing with SOK go about, people still brought up that, hey, it's messed up what they were doing, but weren't in DSP's community doing it too? And people said, oh, there wasn't enough proof. And at the time, there really wasn't, even though people were talking about this. Well, goddammit, ladies and gentlemen, there's some proof now. Now, granted, too, we all know the usual suspects who were in that, because trust me, there is at least two, maybe three people from DSP's camp who are confirmed as doctors. So, eh, it, it is what it is with that. Well, this person right here is basically like, hey, you've been do you've been dealing with this bullshit for years, and now this stuff's gonna stop, and it's gonna stop right now. This is what you're gonna go and do. You're gonna go to Phil, and you're gonna have him publicly address the fact that you've been sending out death threats, harassing people, banning them from his and uh, other. Well, he has, as you know, Dark Side Viking has been banning people. You're gonna go ahead and tell Phil to publicly state that you've been doing all this shady shit behind the scenes. And you're gonna have him publicly denounce you. Publicly. Cause if you don't, I mean ban him from his little community. Cause if you don't, then shit's about to get real. Ladies and gentlemen, this person right here apparently ain't nobody to fuck with. Apparently he was in a very bad mood and he apparently has something to say. Let's go ahead and continue on what he said. He said that if that, if that happens, if Phil publicly denounces you, everything will be all gravy. Everybody can go along their sweet, merry way. If Phil doesn't do it, if Phil does not do this, there will be one dox dropped every 12 hours. Maybe even every 8 hours of your community. Steadily and consistently, be, like I said, I'm paraphrasing, I'm just kind of summing all this up. <laughs> he's going to be laying out, he's going to be dropping people. And he's gonna drop each and every every and there will be a and each and every person on the King of Hate forums is a potential target. Meaning moderators, administrators, the well-respected power players, the whales, all the way to the poor little newbie nobodies. Everybody's gonna get it. Free smoke, and everybody's about to catch that contact. And they're gonna do it until the whole damn site is down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this right here sounds like someone who I think is really gonna do this. That really sounds like they about this life, and given the circumstances of why it happened, I can kind of understand why. Now, granted, I'm completely objective in this. It is what it is. You know, this person right here feels a certain type of way, and apparently there's a, you know, and apparently there are others that feel this type of way. So it is what it is. I'm just here to report it to you. I'm not here to pass judgment either way. With that being said, so Phil now has to choose between one of his biggest whales, Brightside, or seeing the rest of his little community go down in flames. And as this person had stated, we are not the Sons of Kojima, we are not DSP detractors, just to make this very clear. This is just, this right here is the onslaught. This right here will be the Omega, essentially, of your, of, of Dark Brightside Vikings um, of actions, or of Brightside Vikings uh, actions. This is the end of it. This is where it all kind of comes down to. And if, if, if Phil doesn't get to work on this, well, then, you know, it is what it is and what happens, happens. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of collateral damage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, is this really going to happen or not? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I most certainly do not know. I'm just here to report it to you. I'm just giving to you what's, on, what's in front of me. But read what this guy said on his post, though, because he sounds like he's very, very serious and very, very pissed off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, most of you would probably think that Brightside would be like, oh, well, you know, I'm not worried. And you'd be right to say so, because Brightside actually is not worried. He's not worried at all. And ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of the problem. Because <laughs> I'm going to have some other screenshots on uh, up here for you, where his community, where DSP's community is in like a mass exodus. And the fact that people are deleting, they are deleting their accounts left and right, scared of the situation that's going on. There's also another thread that is deleted, but thanks to the great people at Kiwi Forms, they actually, uh, someone archived it, with, it's called, or it's titled, Brightside Viking and Incoming Doxing Op. Whew. Amazing. Now, the general consensus on Kiwi Farms is Brightside Viking is going to get what he gets. Now, he's up here trying to fight this, he's up here doing this, that, and the third, calling it trolling and calling it whatever. 
I don't know. No one's taking it as as a trolling, bro. Like it ain't. And people on in the very community, in Phil's community, I should say, is turning against him rather quickly, in a in a manner and faction that makes you wonder. I mean, I always heard that Brightside Viking was hated amongst the DSP community, but now when you get to actually see it, it's kind of like wow, just wow. But then again, because of the amount of money he brings to the table, who's gonna really? I mean, the people who get who speak against them are usually kicked off anyway. This shit is real, and this shit is bad, because people in the in DSP's community are like, what the hell's going on here? This, that, and the third. Why are people bouncing out on us? This this supposed thing is happening. Yada yada yada. There are threat. There are people threatening other people if they want to be banned. It's it's kind of silly. It's kind of amusing. It's kind of a lot of people being like, why is Brightside Viking up to his fuckery again? It's the usual shit, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is bad. This right here is really bad. Now, is any of this really going to happen? I don't know. It sounds convincing enough. And uh, let's see, what else is DSP's community saying? Oh, well, there's another group of people saying that someone called the FBI. <laughs> That's cute. Called the FBI. Um, ladies and gentlemen... What does this all really mean? Okay. First off, Brightside Viking has been going around ruckshot for a while. And Phil let him. So, in truth, even despite how hated Brightside Viking may be, this still falls on DSP. Hands down. This falls on him all fucking day. Because, yet again, you ran around and you've let some of these guys run around here ruckshot doing bullshit and you ignored it because it didn't affect you. Or you thought it was working towards your best interest. Now, you got a real problem. Now you have your little now you have your little website, your little forum that could get hit potentially. And so much so that people are scared enough to go ahead and pick up and leave. I mean, what are you doing? And I'm talking to Phil here. I'm not talking to Brightside Viking. Brightside Viking's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. He's gonna justify it however he wants to justify it. I don't care. But Phil, what are you doing? Like seriously, what are you doing? This is supposed to be your forum, right? I understand that you want your little maid, to sh you're waiting for your little maid to show up from whatever little country she's coming from. You say she's coming from a state, another state, but then why would she need to buy whole all new clothes just to go to Seattle, Washington? How does that make sense exactly? Huh, we'll address that later. But what are you doing, Phil? Like seriously, what are you doing? I understand that you got your little streaming shit going on or whatnot. You're about to have a community, if any of this goes down, I should say. You're about to have a community that's not even going to exist in a minute. Shit's getting real, and you should really be up here trying to address some of this. You should be trying to damage control. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You're not very good at that, are you? You're not very good at damage control. You can't even really save yourself, so how are you going to save him? And you can't afford to cut him off. You can't really cut BFV, uh, BSV out, off. So now you're in a, like, between a rock and a fucking hard place, aren't you? So what do you do? Do you wait and see if this guy's bluffing? Or do you sit back and you watch your little form implode? Do you even care about your little, little form? Do you care about the people that's even on it? Oh, I'm sorry. There's only, oh, I don't know, eight or nine people on it at any given time anyway. I mean, if you ever have a large influx of people that are on it, it's usually because there's drama going on and they just want to see what's being said. With that being said, Phil, it's time to kind of smarten up with this. This right here is a strong representation of a person who's not in control of himself. And because he throws money at you, you're willing to let him run around here ruckshot. Now he's getting spanked, and now it's going to come back on you in a very, very big way. And what are you going to do, Phil? Now, this right here is just a small part of a much bigger picture. Because, <laughs> to be honest, TBH, what's going to come next could be one of the one of the better the better implosions of 2018. Being that we're only at the time that I'm recording, this, we're only 11 days in, and Phil's already fucking up. I mean, we're 11 days in, Phil. Your maid is. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> girlfriend, <laughs> I mean, soulmate, whatever, is literally a month out. A month out. She's almost here. She's almost locked down, and you can chain her up in the kitchen so she can go ahead and do her cooking and her cleaning and everything else, and then she can go to work. 
and then she can come home and get chained back up again and do everything else she needs to do. Because God knows Din Din better be on that goddamn table at 7 o'clock. Because if not, there are going to be some problems. Right, Phil? That's when we get to exposing her, right? Just like the last one. Phil, 2018 is going to be bad for you. Like I said, this could be all... I don't know if this is staged or not. To the person who sent this to me, you want my you want my kind of feedback on it? I, I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. It sounds like Brightside Viking up to his fuckery, and, and people just really got fed up with it, which is obviously what it is. Is it going... You, now, you're asking, will I... Do I think this could really turn into be, uh, being something bad? Sure, absolutely. Now, here's the real funny thing, actually. If this person is who I think he is, and we're going to look him up actually really fast, because if this guy here that Brightside Viking attacked is who I think he is, and it was the guy who ended up uh, uh, saying his, basically giving his story, then that really becomes really messed up because that guy's story was kind of sad. Let's take a look real quick and see if that's who this is. Because, um, and if it is him, it's going to be sad. It's going to be sad and it's going to be a bit unfair because that guy had a right to tell his story. Now, some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Let me check Arjun's channel real fast as we're going through this. Hope your guys' day is going well too, by the way. Because, like, to be honest with you, I was going to do some work for the second channel because I have nothing over there yet and I wanted to put some stuff up. But good God. Shouts out to Argent too, by the way. I hope you guys are, I hope he's doing well. Same thing with Almighty Tevin too. I just saw the video um, yesterday. Actually, it is the very same guy, to be honest with you. I might put the link in the description. Um, Yeah, actually. He did... Yeah, that's right. I did watch that interview. That was actually a very good interview. I was going to go through it. I was going to go over it too, but I thought Argent did a really good job, so I didn't see a need to do that. But I might... Um, and then he had a follow-up to that, too. Yeah, it is the same guy. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of background on the, the person in general. This guy right here knew Phil back in the day before when Phil was just a turd before he became a pile of shit. With that being said, he, uh, he, was, he was like some of the people in Phil's community. He generally wanted to try to help him. And he was taken advantage of. And for some strange reason, he kept going back and trying to help Phil out. He just, he just kept doing it. And uh, eventually he ended up smarting up, ended up smarting up and breaking away. Good for him. <laughs> what he said, as damaging as it might be the fill, it shouldn't have been enough to where it should have warranted this bullshit. It just, this shouldn't have happened. Brightside has gone a little too far with this nonsense over that situation. You know what I mean? In truth, if Phil was smart, and I'm sure Phil was, he just said, don't do anything and just let it go. Ah! And just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what Phil usually does when people come out and tell the truth about him. He just keeps his mouth shut. That's a good thing, because he needs to. But why Brightside would finally need to attack this guy is, makes no sense. But that's not even the worst part about it. Then he decided to piss off this guy, some of these people on Kiwi Farms. And that's never a good idea in its own right. Like, at all. Like, you got to understand that these guys up here are savages. They're going <laughs> to, if you want this free smoke, you're going to come get it. And that's what they're giving to you. So now, Brightside Vikings up here acting silly and getting destroyed and throwing people under the bus, too, by the way. You know what I'm saying? There, there were some key names that, that he decided to throw up here, thinking that he was going to try to make an argument for himself. And I, I, I don't... It just, it doesn't make too much sense. It does it really doesn't. But ladies and gentlemen, this makes me pose an argument to you, though. For all the control Phil says that he has, or he tries to, you know, he tries to exercise on his streams, on his videos, you could say his YouTube channels, at least, I mean, at least on uh, DSP Gaming, being that the comment section is still dead on there. In truth, Phil's a cuck. He's a puppet. He is at the mercy of another man. He's at the mercy of other men, in truth. He can't do anything for himself. He's absolutely helpless. He's absolutely useless. And the fact that Brightside is running around here doing what he's doing, the fact that other members have, 
had run around and doing the things that they were doing proves that. It proves that Phil has no control over his community. And the reason why is because he needs their money. But they don't even respect him enough to try to keep his name intact. You got to understand this. And this is something that was pointed out on the uh, on the King of Hate forums before they deleted that shit. That, dude, you're supposed to be out there representing the community and look at what you're doing. First off, and foremost, form, foremost, I understand that DSP sends spies over there to Kiwi forums to keep track of what's being said over there. It's rather pathetic of you, Phil. You might want to stop that. It's bad enough that you already got guys on Twitter doing that shit, and every time they get butt hurt over a little thing, they get exposed. You might want to go ahead and settle that down. It might be a good idea. But it's bad enough that you. But so it's bad enough you're doing that shit on Twitter. But now you're going over here to Kiwi forums. And you're sending guys to go at other guys who are not only more savage than your boys, Phil, but are way more intelligent. They outthink your boys on a regular basis. And now one of them will not, well, allegedly one of them, what would, would, I would assume a group of others, are about to take your damn forum down. Allegedly. I'm not accusing any of them of anything. And, you know, this could all just be taught. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just calling it how I see it. So... What are you going to get out of this, Phil? Because if your form goes down, then you lose all confidence because now they don't have any place to go. Kind of like that uh, that Discord that you had last year that went to shit rather quickly. What are you doing, Phil? You sit in your fat ass on that couch, not even a couch, a love seat, and you're wasting away while the name that you're trying to build up is shitting, is being shitted up. Let me explain, ladies and gentlemen. I have two videos coming out soon, which is what I was supposed to be trying to finish up, where, uh, what's that guy's name? Shane Dawson, or whatever his name is? He apparently is being accused of some shit, like most of those older big YouTubers are being accused of all kinds of funny shit for whatever reason. Maybe because they're actually into it. Maybe because, I don't know, ex-girlfriends slash boyfriends slash whatever are coming back at him. Whatever the case may be. And Phil decided that, oh, I'm going to throw my name in the hat and try to defend this guy. Now, I don't think I've ever heard Phil actually speak negatively of Shane. But, uh, he doesn't matter. He decided to throw his name up there. He got himself a couple, he got himself, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred likes. It was at like 699 when I saw Dipshit Phil's video. I think he's got himself a few more followers. Good for you. Good for you that you decided to go ahead and exploit somebody else's bullshit, you know, for yourself. Now, here's the problem, though. Phil, because apparently you don't think when you do things. The people who are proposing that Shane is accused of the shit that he's actually done. Now, keep in mind, Shane, to my understanding, to what I've seen, hasn't actually been, a, you know, formally accused of anything. This is just speculation in the window that comes from an old video where he says some stupid shit that he shouldn't have said. I'm sorry. You just, I don't understand why you guys say this fucking pedophilic type shit and then turn around and say you're joking. You do realize that, you know, 50% of a joke is the truth, right? Okay, whatever. It, it is what it is. If that's what you want to joke about, then keep that shit to yourself. Fair enough. Whatever. You, whatever you guys are into. Well, apparently it's been shitting up on him for a little while. I haven't seen anything formal yet. I haven't seen anything saying, anything uh, coming out that says, oh, he really did, that Shane really did this, that, and the third. I haven't seen any of that yet. But what I will say is, that uh, there are some people that were obviously very offended by it. And with that being said, it leads us to the <laughs> to the shit show that we're at now. Phil decided to throw his name in the hat to try to defend him. He got some likes, so on and so forth. Did he say some common sense shit? Sure. Of course he did. Here's the problem. When you put your hand when you, when you put your hand into the cookie jar, especially when it ha when you haven't had din din yet, it's going to get smacked. Even if you had two cookies and you were going to give one to somebody else, you're still going to take the beating. And that's what's getting ready to happen here. Phil's going to end up getting a little bit of backlash from that Shane shit. But what little good karma or, oh, I'm sorry, you don't believe in karma, Phil. Whatever good graces that you were about to drum up from that whole Shane situation and just got shitted up right here in the worst way. And for no reason. Nothing was gained from what Brightside went ahead and decided to go ahead and do. What the hell are you guys doing? I mean, seriously, what are you doing? What was what was to come from this? 
you you went over there and and, and kicked hornets kicked over a hornet's nest for what? Cause you thought this shit was funny? It'd be different if he was better at trolling, but this right here is just silly. And now there's like there's, I mean I can't even call it an exodus from your forums, Phil. There's barely anybody there anyway. It was a shit show already. Now, yet again, ladies and gentlemen, this is just my particular opinion. It's, it's, it's dumb. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a waste of energy. It goes back to something that people have been saying for a while, that none of Phil's main gunners really give a shit about Phil. Or, I wouldn't say that. I'll say some of Phil's main gunners don't give a shit about Phil. They just want to go ahead and try to piss other people off thinking that shit's funny. But then when they get smacked, they run back to Phil and be like, Phil, protect me. And that's what you're seeing here. This is what you're seeing here. And the thing is, is if this was, if this was anything, if you go back to the SOK situation, weren't these the same guys who had their chest out being like, oh yeah, look at what you guys are doing over there. Yeah, you guys should feel so bad. But then you guys have been doing this shit too. You guys are just as bad. And just like what allegedly happened over there, or what, what happened with SOK, you guys were doing this to your own people too. So you guys were really shitting it up. And for what? Now, like I said, I'll let you read the rest because it tells a much bigger story to this, to be honest with you. Because the, there's, there's, there's a little bit more to what I'm just saying. I'm just giving you the broadness of it. <laughs> Phil, let me talk to you for a minute just to close my report out. You say that you understand what it's like to be harassed. You say that you understand what it's like to have people say falsehoods about you, and so on and so forth. You say that you want to just come up on YouTube and on Twitch and just do Let's Plays and share your experiences. Let's, let's kind of get into that for just a second, Phil. Because you have your fans, some of them anyway, who say that, why are you guys always attacking Phil? Don't you think this is a little psychotic, what you guys are doing? He's just the guy that plays video games. No. He's a guy who, just like Phil says it, when you guys try to sit there and point something out to him, he's like, you're wrong. I'm not going to say that. What I am going to say is, yeah, he is a shitty Let's Player. He's a horrible Let's Player. But he's a shitty human being, too. He's an individual who puts his life out there, his business out there to be exploited for his own well-being. The only reason why he hates the detractors is because they point his shit out and and they profit off of it. And that's what Phil can't take. Then maybe he should shut the hell up. Maybe he should just keep his mouth shut about it, which is something that you guys pointed out. Actually, one of you was, I don't know if you got banned or not. I'm assuming that you probably did, but maybe you got lucky and didn't had pointed out that, hey, Phil, maybe in your pre-streams, maybe you need to just stop, you know, talking so much about your personal stuff and keep it game-related. That was a good piece of advice, I think. Well put. Smart move. But what did Phil tell you? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Like he, he basically gave you the generic, oh, I, we don't negotiate with terrorists around here. Okay. Fair enough. So now, Phil, with that being said... You have, you know, you have your soulmate coming. You're just trying to, you're, you're trying to rewrite your history a little bit. I heard your little blip TV, you know, thing there talking about that situation. I'll be doing a video on that where you're like, oh, I, I shouldn't have done it. It was wrong. But, oh, it's because these people are too sensitive now. Yada, yada, yada. And that's the reason why things are the way they are. No, Phil, the reason why things are the way they are is because you stepped out of line. First things first, Phil, you're not Howard fucking Stern. That's your first problem. Second, you don't have his you don't have his charm, charisma, enthusiasm, his influence, his intelligence. You don't have any of those things. You're a fuck on YouTube who sits there and makes shitty ass gameplays and bitch about everything. That's what you are. Now, with that being said, Phil, <clears throat> I did a little bit of research on that whole Blip TV thing. Because I, I had a video on the works for that. Were you actually really going to become part of Blister Thumbs? Eh, that's either here nor there. That's, that's here nor there. Is it possible? Eh, maybe. 
you know, they were they were kind of scooping up people in the in the kind of gaming realm. So you probably would have fitted, but you wouldn't have probably been there long. They probably would have ended up getting you up and out of there if they really were going to recruit you. And you yourself even said that it was a good thing that you left Blip TV, or sorry, you got kicked off of Blip TV when you did, because eventually they ended up going under. But what you fail to realize is you could have made yourself quite a bit of money. You could have made yourself, you could have built yourself quite the uh, audience before you end up going back to YouTube and then begging Hutch for a job, which is what happened there too. Now, I say that to say this, you are the reason why you're where you're at. So like that Metal Gear Solid run she did for two and three, what'd you do that for? That was a waste of time. You didn't profit from it at all on YouTube. You may have gotten a couple hundred dollars on Twitch, but what was that for? Oh, so you could wait on the hundred plus dollars you spent to play Mario Sunshine? Which you you're you gonna make that back in the first day anyway. You'll probably make that back with profit. Oh, I'm sorry, you already got paid for that. Phil, this whole rewriting your history thing, stop it. What is it that Snor Purnell says? You, you're you all about looking forward and not looking back? So what the hell are you doing redemption runs for? A fucking shitty ass games that you ain't already fucked up and you're already known for, like it's somehow gonna change your reputation. Especially when you yourself had already admitted that with the Metal Gear Solid run, you did worse than you did the first time around. It didn't help you. You essentially wasted your time. So what the hell did you do it for then, Phil? Why'd you piss that off? And I'm looking at the views on your channel as it pertains to those Metal Gear Solid runs. You're 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 not cracking a foul. You're not cracking 1,200 on some of these things. I mean, you got a, you got a few of them that are doing all right, but I mean, I guess I, well, not all right for you. If they were on this channel, they'd be all right. But for you, the, you you're getting shit views on everything. It's just like Almighty Tevin and Theo said, you're, you, no one's really watching your shit. This is really bad. You know what I'm saying? And I understand you're trying to make that transition to Twitch and trying to extort money out of them there. But how long is that going to last for, Phil? And then with this whole situation, <laughs> this whole nonsense, this kind of little war that Brightside Viking wanted to wage against Kiwi Farms, or Kiwi Farms, wh wh what's going to happen with that? And even if nothing really comes out of this, I'm not going to say it, it is or it, I don't know. But let's say nothing happens. You, the fear of God has already been struck in at least some of them. <laughs> the, the fear of the internet gods have already been struck into some of these guys. What are you doing? I'm not even going to blame Brightside Viking for this now, Phil. What are you doing? Can you not take control of this in some way, shape, or form? This is supposed to be your forms. You're supposed to be a leader, kind of, sort of, I guess. You don't, you, do they, they, they respect you so little that they can't even keep themselves together when they're not trying to defend you? <laughs> oh my God. Well, at the end of the day, this kind of is what it is. Um, shouts out to the person who sent me this. Shouts out to uh, Dragon Killer for keeping up to date on all this. Shouts out to Kiri Farms for what was obviously very entertaining. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. King of Hate Forms, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where you guys are at. Twenty four hours, I guess. Um, what are you doing, Phil? What are you doing? You're supposed to be trying to make the best of this year. It sounds like you were trying to change the output that was. You were trying to change how people view you. And all you did is just screw it up even further. That's exactly what this is. You just, you, it just, it, it's just, it's really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? This looks bad. And so, and then you going ahead and defending Shane. I don't know what's going to come out of that for you. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. If you really felt that way, so be it. But something tells me that that wasn't the case. Something tell me, told me that you saw an opportunity and you just took it, hoping that you could get you could get some extra viewership off of him. And if that's how you feel, good for you. But I feel like in a small way, that's gonna come back and bite you. Maybe, we'll see. But this is definitely gonna bite you. And like I said, what was all this for? What was the point of all this? What was gained from any of this at all? I mean, seriously, 
you know? Like, Phil, what was gained from any of this? This is really stupid, Phil. I mean, what was gained from this? Alright. Well, whatever. Alright, guys. I'm gonna leave you with, uh... I guess we'll finish up this last song, and then we're gonna wrap this up. You guys tell me what you guys think. Take a look at the information that's up on screen. You guys tell me how you feel. <laughs> I... I don't even want to laugh at it because it's not even really that funny to be honest with you i mean it's amusing to a degree if you read the whole form and whatnot but at the same time though like phil what are you doing and you can sit there phil and say whatever you want about oh this isn't my fault this this has nothing to do with me i had nothing to do with this no you did have something to do with this yeah this is your fault that you, th this is your fault. You 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 need to sit there and clean up the pig pen a little bit, Phil. You need you you're you're behind on your house cleaning, and guess what? The maid can't clean this up. Your soulmate can't fix this. Your girlfriend can't put this in the dishwasher. You need to get up. You need to be a man, and you need to straighten this up on your own. Now I don't know if you're more of a man than Brightside Viking. I I, I don't know. I think he's bigger than you. Kinda, at least physically, I guess. So I, I, I don't know if you're a bigger man than he is. I can't even really say. I, I wouldn't. Even, I would hesitate to call either one of you the better man, being that what both of you guys have been accused of doing. But whether this turns out to be something or it turns out to be nothing, you really need to look at your little camp, Phil, and figure and maybe this, make some real choices moving forward. You're coming up on your little ten-year anniversary or whatnot. And you're trying so hard to kind of revise your history online, you might want to try to clean this up. You might want to do something about this. While you can. Before the next real big situation comes up and it hits you and then you can't do anything. You're 11 days into the year, Phil. Everybody, I was hoping to hear from Kimberly tomorrow or the day after. Allegedly, that's been settled already. It is what it is. So now everybody's just watching the clock on this girlfriend who mysteriously doesn't have clothes in a house and is about to be homeless soon. We're kind of just waiting on that now. Maybe. I'm going to be late to it either. I'm going to be late to that party either way because that's just how I do. But what are you doing? And when are you going to fix this shit? Like, when are you going to just clean this up? <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping this to be kind of not really a rant. It's supposed to be kind of funny, but I mean, it's kind of amusing, I guess. Take it for what you will. Ladies and gentlemen, this was DSP News. Always late, never breaking, unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG Network and Productions. I could really go for some brownies right now. I really could. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and play some music on the, to kind of finish this out. Enjoy. <laughs> 